In today's video, I'm going to be breaking down one of the most effective plays from the ace slot offset formation in the New England Patriots offensive guide that I just released to my YouTube channel. What's up, guys? My name is Cody, and I want to welcome you to my channel. If you've never been a part of my YouTube channel before or seen any of my videos, what I do is I do Madden 21 tips and tricks breakdowns. Now, these tips and tricks breakdowns can um, be a variety of things. We can talk about offensive schemes, defensive schemes, offensive tips, uh, user control tips, tactics. Uh, we break down sometimes pro player gameplay on this channel. And so if you're looking to get better on the offensive and defensive side of the ball, I would highly encourage you to go ahead and click the subscribe button at the bottom right hand corner of your screen and I would also encourage you to join our community discord which that link can be found in the description discord is a great place and the reason why is because it allows um, everyone from my channel to come together and basically be in this community on this discord app it's an app that you can get on your phone or on your tablet or even on your computer um, and basically what we're able to do is just talk Madden 24 7 so if you're looking for a good place to talk Madden learn Madden uh, connect with people that are playing Madden we got some really really good people in our discord server alright guys so for those of you that don't know I just released on my YouTube channel a offensive ebook that I would say is probably one of my best pieces of work that I've ever put together. Um, this offensive ebook is out of the New England Patriots offensive playbook, and it is a monster of an ebook. We have over four volume or four volumes of content, which what that means is every volume is a hundred or, or over a hundred pages. So we have over three hundred pages of material. Uh, in this ebook for you guys uh, to be able to just consume and for you to be able to get better on the offensive side of the ball. Everything you need. We have gun trips, gun bunch, gun ace slot offset, gun split close, uh, single back double, single back wide trip, single back bunch, on and on and on. We even have a specific um, guide on how to use goal line uh, in this in this game. So um, all that to say, guys, I just want to encourage you, if you're looking um, for help on the offensive side of the ball or you want to take your offense to the next level, I would highly encourage you to pick up my New England Patriots guide. The link is in the description. And what we're going to be doing today is we're going to show you a simple little formation that I believe is very, very effective. Uh, and again, it's very simple. There's nothing too complicated. And that's what I love about the New England guide. It's just simple and effective. But we're going to break this down. This is the ace slot offset formation. Now, if you are part of our text message membership, I'm actually going to send you um, this entire formation today um, as a sample or a preview for the rest of the offensive guide uh, in the New England Patriots playbook. So if you haven't joined our text message membership, um, you can do that today. All you've got to do is text me. My number is 812 216-3644. It's also in the top left corner of your screen, and it's also in the description of this video. But by texting in, what I'll do is I'll shoot you a playlist that has all of our material. It's not just New England's Patriots playbook. You'll get stuff from other formation, other playbooks and things like that as well. But what I'll be doing is I'll be putting a 45-minute to an hour um, guide on the ace slot offset, and it's basically an excerpt from the New England Patriots ebook that I'll be releasing um, that I that I just released. So it's kind of a sample. We let our text message members kind of get a little bit more of a sample uh, of what they're getting into. But I wanted to show you um, this play today. But this is a really really solid play from the ace slot offset, and uh, we're just going to break it down. This play is flood. Now I know it doesn't look like much, but this is one of my favorite plays in Madden 21. The reason why is because this specific out route, and you want to typically run this play to the wide um, side of the field. So you want to be on the right hash uh, when you're running this. Now, if you were on the left hash, all you got to do is flip the play. Um, so nothing too crazy with that. But all I like to do, literally my only setup is I take the running back here and I just put him on a option route. And essentially, against man coverage, this route to Godwin will beat man-to-man -man every single time. Now, what's really nice about this is I forgot to put the zone drops on. When people are facing the New England playbook, especially if they're facing some of the things we can do from trips tight in and ace slot offset, they're going to make sure to put their curl flats at either 20 or 25 yards. Okay, so what a lot of people like to do um, in man-to-man -man coverage is they like to... Um, whoops, uh, they like to put their, their safeties in curl flats to try to take away stuff like quarter routes and deep crossing routes. Dang it, I hit timeout again. Struggling here a little bit. Um, so they like to put their safeties in 
in those deep corner routes, uh, basically to try to help them stop zone um, or tr to try to help them stop man beaters like crossing routes, corner routes, out routes, and so forth and so forth. So what they're going to do is something like this. Uh, you might see this. You're going to do something like this. This is kind of the meta man to man coverage. This is the most popular man to man coverage in the game. Okay. So if you see something like this, um, you might think that Godwin's going to be covered. But in reality, that, that, that route's going to get out there. You can lowball that as soon as he cuts, as soon, right on the cut. Because on that out route, that out route becomes open right when the receiver cuts to the outside. So, um, so you're able to hit that um, if you're able to hit it quick enough. And that's what's nice about this is this play will actually beat pretty much anything that the defense is going to throw at you right there on the cut. There I threw it a little bit early. you got to be careful not to do that with that route. Um, because obviously the, you are still facing a man to man window, but you'll see right here, just a simple little uh, flood play. And I'll show you a different way to run this too. That's a little bit more effective against these, um, horizontal zone stretches, but as you can see, you're still able to beat it. Um, okay. So the next thing that I wanted to show you was what if they run a cover two defense on me, right? What if they run cover two defense, um, but they run like a double flat. So they hard flat Nickerson and they cloud flat that outside corner. Watch how this play works against that double flat. You see that there's this window right here. You can easily low ball it against Mabel coverage. So if people are running Mabel coverage on you, it's not going to work against this play. So then what that forces them to do is it forces them to try to just run standard cover two. And what I want you to watch here with this cover two is you'll see that he'll sit back on the out route. Okay. But what's going to happen is if they run that standard cover two, watch Mike Evans on this play. Remember, we're running this to the wide side of the field. Watch Mike Evans on this play. Hard left pass lead, and he's going to beat cover two zone. So they can't really run cover two. Um, now what they're going to try is, okay, well, we can't really run cover two, so let's try running cover three. Um, and they're going to have purple zone. So obviously these purple zones are going to drop back. That low ball is now open against cover three because the vert hook's not there. If there was a vert hook there, that window's not exactly open, but whenever they're running cover three, um, this this curl's not this hook curl is gonna stay more to the middle of the field, and it's coming from the linebacker, not that outside safety. And so because the hook, because the the linebacker is is kind of fading into a hook curl, um, it's going to leave this window wide open. You can hit that all day, and of course there, um, I think I threw that just a smidge, um, just a smidge too late. But you can work on the timing on this, but you'll see. I mean, this is there's a window right here, right there, kind of anticipated a little bit. Now, obviously, if you don't want to th threaten the needle and you, you just want simple, um, then just hit Cameron Bray right here. Just hit him right here and take your 5 to 10 yards. Nothing too crazy, right? Um, but so what they might try to do out of cover three is they might try to, to Mabel coverage you. So they might try to take that linebacker and put him in a shoot flat. Um, and this is what you'll see right here. If they do something like that, um, you're, st you're still going to have that route to Godwin. Now, one other little setup for this that I wanted to give you today um, is really kind of an all-underneath attack. It's, it's really designed to really just simply attack the underneath. But we're going to take Mike Evans, and we're going to put him on a smoke screen. We're going to take Cameron Brait, put him on a curl. And then we're going to take the running back, put him on an option route. And for that tight end, um, I recommend having tight end apprentice. You can put him on a corner route. Or if you don't have tight end apprentice, just put him on an out route, something simple, just maybe even a flat. I, I like I like just simply a flat. Um, and I know this doesn't look like much, but what you'll see is this curl route against man-to-man -man coverage. You just low pass it to the inside. It'll beat it'll beat man-to-man -man coverage. You still have your um, you still have your out route to Godwin. And what you'll see right here, right on that cut, he's going to get wide open. So you still have that option. And then the other thing that I like about this is this is a much, much better setup, um, in my opinion, if they're running zone coverage, if they're specifically trying to run um, some type of, you know, Mabel coverage or something like that. But if you take a look here, um, this this smoke screen um, is going to be a really, really good holding route. So like a, in a cloud flat scenario, if you take a look at this cloud flat on the left side, if they run a cloud flat, what you'll notice here, they run cover two cloud flat. Watch this, uh, watch this guy. Pass lead that up. You see it gets over the cloud flat. Very simple because the cloud flat is, is reading it like a vertical route. It can't respond quick enough. 
but really this is more designed for uh, those th that cover three scenario that I was showing you. Um, obviously with cover two, um, what you could do in that situation is just take your triangle, uh, your tight end curl, or work this back side here. But what you'll notice is um, this is cover three. You can just take your smoke screen, and that smoke screen gets up field really nicely this year. So you could get about 10 yards um, against a cover three defense. The other thing that you can do against cover three, because that smoke screen is like starting out in the flat, it doesn't have to get to the flat. Um, you'll see that this thing is going to fade. Um, this this uh, this cornerback on the curl flat is going to have to fade a little bit quicker because he's got to be pulled by that route to get outside. And so what that's going to look like for your offense is you're going to see a little bit more of a window to throw that um, to throw that route to Godwin. Now Jair Alexander does have deep out, deep zone out KO or whatever. Um, so this this could be a little bit more you know of an issue than it would normally be like if he was just playing a random corner. But we'll show it to you right here, right there. Uh, and of course, since he's activated now, he's going to go crazy. But um, that window, that window is kind of a, a tight little window. But you can hit that. Um, if you lab it up, the next thing I want to show you is like something like cover four and cover four just is not going to be good uh, against this setup right here. You're going to be able to just basically choose. I mean, who do you want to hit, right? If they go with that out route, you see how many yards you can get with the smoke screen. You're going to get about 15 to 20 yards. Now, what's the, the nice part about it is let's say they go to that Mabel coverage once again, right? They take that slot uh, or that linebacker from a cover three and they put him in that Mabel coverage. Well, now what's going to happen is you're going to be able to just basically pop pass it to the tight end right up the middle and take another 15 from him. So this is just simply a play that I'll go to um, when I'm just trying to keep things simple. I mean, there's nothing too crazy about it, but that out route, I'm telling you, it's the best one of the best routes in the game. Um, and if they don't, if they're not paying attention to your flats. The flats this year are a real issue. I mean, you're going to be able to get 8 to 10 yards um, just by running flat routes. And then what's going to happen is, let's say they do. Let's say they jump down and they play hard flats. The spacing on this out route, it gets really, really good separation against zone coverage. Unlike corner routes this year, corner routes sometimes don't get as good separation against the zone because of the fact that the way the defense guards it. With this out route, it's going to be nice and smooth, and you're going to get an automatic 15 to 20 yards um, if they're playing hard flats on you. So all in all, I think this is a really, really good little play here. Um, obviously, in our ebook, we have a ton of more, and we have some probably better plays. Uh, but this is just kind of a sneak peek to the ebook, uh, showing you some stuff. If you want to get this full scheme, all you got to do is text me, uh, um, and I'll shoot you the full A slot offset um, portion of the ebook. Uh, my number is 812-216-3644. Uh, a slot offset is a very powerful formation. There's a lot of things you can do. It's a very balanced formation, so you can run the ball well. Um, you can obviously audible down into any of the single back A sets, or if you put a running back on the outside there, you can audible down to I form tight. Um, there's a lot of things that you can do with this formation uh, and we break down every possible thing that you can do with it in the new england patriots ebook so if you haven't picked up the ebook yet i would really encourage you to do that a lot of people ask me how do i support your channel how do i help you grow how do i help you uh, do more um basically what i my my short answer would be get the new england patriots guide and let me know your feedback let me know what you think um because every dime that we make for the new england guide goes right back into helping us um make more youtube videos for you guys and it goes right back into the channel and improving our quality uh in our performance so i want to thank you so much for your time i really really appreciate it and uh, hope you enjoy the video and we will be live streaming tonight with the uh new england patriots playbook so you can see it live in action and um, we'll be live streaming at 10 o'clock p.m. Eastern time right here on our YouTube channel. Uh, if you're on the Discord, we'll let you know. You'll get a little bit of a notification uh, whenever we go live. So thanks for your time, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video, and we'll see you tonight.